Hey guys, it's Nesta3. I'm going to be showing you another Hero Factory review. This time it is Surge 4.0 or in the Breakout series. Um, he's one of my least favorite heroes of, of the Breakout series because look at him, he's just puny. He's like, um, Only like eight inches tall while Raka and Furna are like twelve. It's just outrageous. Evo and Surge are the smallest. I can't believe this. Uh, they could have like just look at, for instance, the hands. Look at the arms. They're just pow. The second smallest ball joint. Um, skeleton piece. That's just outrageous. I think they could have made a lot better, like added, like made them all very large or made them all very, very small, or just the, the, the original, like regular 2.0 size or 3.0. So yeah, I'm really disappointed, but, uh, I got him anyway, because I want to actually get all the breakout series because I just thought the series was the best yet except maybe the 2.0 2.0 is pretty cool because they didn't they add those cool ice um cannon thingies and yeah so um I'm just gonna show you all the cool pieces and then we're gonna get to um well you'll see so first off he has the, the old mask. I'm sure you don't need to see that. Then, but the one thing I love about the new ones, I'm kind of glad that they brought that the old ones, but somehow, so it just, just doesn't look good. But look at that. It just looks like he has big muscles when he's in that position, like right there. Those are just big muscles. I love, I like that about them. And then we go to the old weapon, but I'm glad that they brought in the blue form of it because it just looks nice, especially when it's blinked off the light. Whatever. And then the meteor blaster. I really like the new kind because it's something different. It's just something different. I thought that the 2.0 heroes were good, but I just thought that they were too original. But I really like it how they had different headgear because that made them a lot different. But in the four, in the 3.0 series, they kind of look goofy. So yeah. And then the, the, the meter blaster, I'm really proud of them. It's, it's almost like a gun because you can see the barrel and they can have you can put a piece on, like Rocket here over there. Um, actually has some spears connected to it, so it can be crossbow. And then right there, and that little um, axle holdment. It can actually hold a lot of things, like spikes, um, like things, um, like Rocket here is crossbows. Then you could like add cool, like just you know, just anything you want. So that's what I like. But I wish they used their hands on it. I tried, I tested the hands on the meteor launchers, it actually works, but I guess they didn't want to do that because then Rock would stand out because he had a regular, you know, old bonicle piece for hand than a new Hero Factory hand with four um, so yeah yeah four um, fingers so three fingers like the bonicle ones so yeah he's he he just he looks cool but somehow he just looks too simple as I know lots of people have said this but I'm just saying it again because um they're, um, you know, um, 
yeah, the feet are just so small, and I just thought, as lots of people have said, that he has, looks like he's been used by, built in spare parts, which I kind of do, but I really, really, really like the new chest plate, because look at it, it's just so neat, so different from all the other chest plates. Look at that, those cool lightning bolts. That just looks so awesome. The Inferno has like cool flames. Raka has like stripes. And then I love Evo's the best. Evo has like little um like wires and stuff. And then um Breeze has these cool like hive you know hexes. So yeah, he's a good one, you, you, you would probably not want to pick him up, but if you want to get all the series, you have to pick him up. He He's good in poses, he's really poseable, but I just think he's a little bit too simple. Now if his legs were taller now and his arms were longer, that would make a whole difference, but because of it, yeah. <sighs> yeah, because he's he looks like he's made of spare parts. He's a bad set, but he he looks cool. So yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I'll go show you all the. Well, that's mainly it. <laughs> I'm not gonna build them. But, you know, it's, you know, then he has this really, really, really awesome wire that just goes into his, his laser sword thingy. And he has his original cuffs. Then the feet, I like it how they, um, how it overlaps his foot. That makes him look more stronger and more, like, reconish, like, agile. But then up here, it's very, very small. Smallest piece, largest piece. Yeah, so there's a lot of contrast with colors, but he's a really nice figure. You, um, a really nice set. So I advise that you get him, but don't ex. No offense for the Lego company, but don't expect very much out of him. But the cool, but I like the cool pieces because like, I never had a blue hero factory except. Surge 1.0, then you just gotta get him for this extra piece, and then like his chest plate, and then you know, just it's not really a well, no offense, but it's not really a set, it's more like um, it's like a box full of cool pieces. So, yeah, you yeah, just get them. What the heck? So, yeah, you. Pick him up. I got him for, well, I actually got him for Christmas. He was t close to like $11. So that's pretty good price for Hero Factory. Because in the 1.0, they're like, they're really, really, really cheap. But cheap in both ways. Cheap in the set and cheap in the money. It was only like $7. But that was a pretty good deal. But it was a pretty bad set back then but the villains were pretty cool but now this only eleven dollars for this guy all around and i think they're only at toys r us so you know and most of them but they're not in the stores on the shelves you have to actually order them online so mm -hmm. so this has been oh watch my other videos and try to watch my your Factory 4.0 Breakout Final Picks slideshow. And this has been Nesta3. Uh, I mean, please subscribe, rate, and comment. And this has been Nesta3 signing out. Goodbye.